Now let's talk about validation and sanitizing the data. In a lot of projects, you need to validate the data given by the user. In this section, we will talk about validating emails specifically, but you can expand this knowledge and do it for other type of data as well. Right now, for example, we want to validate the email of the users. So we should be able to make sure that user is not giving us something like this because this is not the correct format for emails. There are two ways to validate the emails in PHP. The first one is using regular expression. As we have seen already, we can check, okay, preg match if it matches the pattern for emails and the email given. If it matches, it would return one and we say, okay, user has passed the correct format or if it returns zero, we can say, okay, user has not passed the correct format. About the pattern, you can find different patterns on the internet based on your needs. Sometimes we need to check for general email format, but sometimes you need to check for a specific type of formatting. And in some cases, in some languages, the special characters are also needed to be checked. And the second option is filters. There are some filters in PHP that can help us validate and sanitize the data. Since now we are going to talk about validation and we have been talking about validating emails, let's see the filter for validating an email. Whenever we want to use filters in PHP, we should use the function filter var. The first argument is the variable that we want to validate or sanitize. And the second argument is the filter. For example, in PHP, we have a filter for email. Uh, which is called filter validate email. This filter var function would go through this variable and apply this filter validate email. And if it doesn't match, it would return false. So here we should be able to check if this function return false or not. I can write a conditional if this filter var is not true. So it would be false. We come here, we say echo email is not valid but if it's true else echo email is valid thank you okay perfect now here let's have our variable which is let's the email is test.com let me run the code php index.php email is not valid but if i said test at example.com now it's a valid email uh, and i will get email is valid thank you you see we didn't need to know any regular expression pattern and it's super readable i know that it's checking to validate an email it's very readable it's very quick and easy that's the power of php and this filter var function is very useful and it can help us Validate and sanitize. We will talk about sanitizing the data in a bit. For now, let's see another useful filter for validation, which is URL. A lot of times you might get some website from the user. For example, if you want to register some developers, you want to get their portfolio website or their GitHub account address. So you need to make sure that given address is a correct URL. In order to do that, we can change it here. For example, here is an email. The filter for checking validation on URLs is filter validate URL. And here we say URL is valid, otherwise URL is not valid, otherwise URL is valid. So now I expect it to return URL is not valid because it's an email, it's not a URL. So php index.php URL is not valid. But if I change it to a valid URL, for example, HTTPS example.com and I run the code again, URL is valid. Thank you. Perfect. As you can see, with just changing the filter, we could validate URLs as well. It's very powerful, as I said, and it's very useful. Now let's talk about sanitizing. Sanitizing data is very important, especially when you are dealing with user data. Well, what does it mean to sanitize the data? It means to clean up your data by using techniques like deleting, replacing, encoding, and escaping. 
and we can easily do that in PHP with the power of filter var function we pass a variable like before but in, as a second argument for the filter flags instead of uh, adding a validation flag we use a sanitizing flag and the thing we should note is that when we use validation flags we expect this function to return false if it couldn't validate so here we had checked for that but here it would go through this variable it would apply this filter and it would return a new variable so i have to store it and i'm going to store it in sanitized data so what's the flag here and what would be my variable let's say my variable is an html paragraph so for example p and let's close it hello world I don't want to have those HTML tags in my data when I store them. So now I can go through the sanitizing process and remove them. How can I do that? There is a flag for it and that is filter. As I said, we should use sanitize rather than validate. So filter sanitize string. What would it do? It would go through this string and it would remove the flags for me. I could pass it as a variable here. So my flag would be this because I'm going to show you other flags. It would be easier. I would be running the same function and then I would echo the sanitized data. Let's see. PHP index.php, hello world. As you can see, it has removed the HTML tags sanitizing is super important so i'm going to go through a list of some of the useful flags here so you could see how it works the first flag was filter sanitize string as you can see it strips tags and html encode the double and single codes for example if i had hello word here here encodes that and escapes that it's very good now the second flag is for sanitizing email so if we want to sanitizing email we should say filter sanitize email so what it would do it would keep all the letters all the digits and all these characters because these can be in an email but any other character it would be removed from the string for example, an HTML tag cannot be part of a string. For example, if we had here email at example.com, I would expect it to remove these because these are not valid characters. So let's see what it does. As you can see, it has removed those characters for me. It kept the P's for me because it would remove this, this, and this because the, those are not valid characters. The next sanitizing filter that we are going to talk about is the filter for URL. So the URL would keep the letters and digits like email, and it would include more characters for URLs. Let me remove the second L. Uh, so let's say email example.com, and I have some characters like euro sign. If I sanitize the data, I expect to remove this euro for me because it's not included in these valid characters it would sanitize the data here as you can see if i check this for validation it might return false but for sanitizing it says okay those characters it would go through each character and says okay this is a valid character this is a valid character this is a valid character and it would keep all of them but in case of euro sign it was not a valid character so it has removed it we can sanitize the number and make it an integer for example filter sanitize sanitize number int this would get the number here for example if i have 61.35 it would turn this variable to an integer but 
you should be careful it wouldn't do what you expect it wouldn't remove this part as a whole it would say okay inside an integer i don't expect this character and it would remove this even if this wasn't a string and it wasn't a double it would still do the same it would remove these dots it would remove the decimal point so you should be very careful with that and if it wasn't a string it's not it wouldn't just remove that point it would remove all the other characters that are not numbers so here if i run the code again it would give me the same result because it has removed these two characters as well there are a lot of other flags you can check all of them in php's official website for example you can sanitize magic codes full special characters number floats and so on now to summarize what we have learned so far filter var is a very useful function in php you can use regular expression to validate the data and it's very powerful you can use break match but filter var is easier and it works in most of the cases so we can use filter var for validation by adding validation filters in the second argument again with sanitization we could use regular expression and use preg replace but as i said in most of the cases not always but in most of the cases a filter war would work just fine and you could use a sanitize flags and uh, clean up your data that's the end of this section now let's go to the next topic